Welcome to week five, and uh, this is going to be um, cylinder and ellipses, and we are going to uh, show you how to do this one in Inventor. And uh, let me go ahead and plug Inventor on. And this project is um, in your textbook. It was number three, and we're going to draw that thing for you real quick. So you can follow along with me. This is standard inches. So I go to new standard IPT in English US and we'll get this thing rolling it's really not that bad of a drawing and we're going to put this on paper as well and you'll have the top front and right side and you'll notice this too if you go back to your blackboard is like on week 5 PDF this is what it's going to look like right here top front and then right side and what it is is you're taking a cylinder and you're slicing it it's got an angle on it and then these sides have been cut out and you see this and what you're seeing down here a lot of people get confused on a lot of these things but when you cut across the cylinder you still see if you don't cut all the way down through it or if it's not all the way to the center of it you're going to see that uh, tangent of that radius so we'll show you that real quick as we draw so first I want to start with a sketch I'm just going to start out and I am going to make myself just a just like a pop can just like a cylinder. This thing is going to be um, 2.125. I'll fix that up, finish the sketch. I want to extrude this thing to 5 inches. 5 inches. And now I'm going to take and start, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the chamfer or the uh, taper on it. So I want to make myself a new work plane. I come up here to plane and I click here and I come over to my origin and I find I find an origin like that. That's fine. You see that? I just clicked on it. I find it the way that more or less orientation I'm looking at. And if I'll come over here with that lid up, if I just come over here, you see how it puts a tangent one on it? over here if I do the same it puts it on that one so if I click on that it makes me a new plane right there I can hit uh, you know start a new sketch right on that plane and inside of here I'm going to go in and just uh, put me my angle in just like that And I want to take and I'm just actually going to put it up here like that and like that. Now, what I need to do is just do a dimension. And I want to catch, let's see, all the way from the end of this all the way to this point there should be 2.76. And that should come all the way down and touch this uh, actual part here. And I couldn't see it for that plane. So we need to do that real quick. And really and truly, I'd probably just be better off just to start all over here. Might be easier. And I want to hide that plane. I want to turn the visibility. I just right clicked and visibility off. I want to project my geometry. I projected that geometry. See that's yellow now? Probably a little bit easier for me to do this and then come down there. And now I've actually got it right on that, those points. It might make it a little easier to, to draw. Now that looks a lot better. And this thing's shooting all the way down at 30 degree angle. So with that distance and this angle here, uh, I should be right on the nose. And then I want to take and just box it in. Make me an enclosed box. Finish. I'm going to hit extrude, click that, cut, distances all the way, it's gone. So now you've got that cylinder cut, and whenever you cut it like that, it makes an ellipse kind of on it, just like that. Okay, now... I've got some more cuts that I need to do on it, so I want to turn that work plane back on. I can use the same exact work plane. Visibility, turn that back on. And let's take a look. 
That one's right in the center of it. That's really not the one I was looking for. This is the one I'm looking for. The visibility is on. And we can use that one. It, it wouldn't matter. That's the one I'm looking for. Turn the visibility back onto this one. And turn the visibility off of this one. All right. So I want to take, do myself another new sketch. And I'm going to start from the back side and put these cuts in this thing all the way across. And it's easily done. Just I'm going to come up here and put this one down like that. Well, actually, I can just draw me a line in here. I'll start like hit this. I'll come over, drop it down, come over, bring it up to the top. Come over and then up and I'll box it in there. Just hit my dimensions now, catch that outside edge to this. And that one's 0.44. I catch this to this. That one's 0.44. And then of course uh, this up here, this one is going to be 0.5. And then we just got to get our heights right off of the center point. Right there is your center point right there. We've got a good center point from that point right there to there. And that one is, looks like to me, 0.38. Enter. Okay. And I'll go ahead and get this other one. This one from here. To here is 0.3, and then from the top up here, it's 0.7 from the center to the top of this, so that would be easy to get. 0.7, good deal. So all that's in there. Everything looks good. It's measured right. Finish sketch. Extrude. We'll do another cut all the way through it. Okay. So there's all that stuff cut out. It's a weird looking shape, isn't it? Y'all can kind of see how these cuts are turning out on this because you can kind of see that leftover uh, quadrant of that. And it depends on how deep you cut, how far, you can kind of see how far that will be indented in, depending on that roundness. All right, so now, of course, there's a hole in the back of this, and I got one more cut. I got to put the cuts on the side. So what I do is I come over here, and I'm going to, um, I need another work plane. So I hit plane, I come over, and I find the plane that's on top, or one that's oriented the way that I want it. Uh, that one right there is perfect. And so I hit plane, and I want uh, that one right there. Click on it with my left mouse button. I click that. That would put it right on the main top of that. So I'm, I'm tangent to the top of that cylinder. New sketch. And I'm going to put in uh, two rectangles. And those rectangles are 1.88 from here to there. From here to there and I need to get a distance of those and it's 0.62 from the center so dimension and I don't have really a good center point on that but I do well yeah I do right here's a good center point that's right in the dead center of it so dimension I'll catch this point to that point and that is 0.62 and then dimension from there to there is 1.24. So all I have to do is finish my sketch up, hit extrude, and you want to do a cut on that and that all the way through. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and turn off the visibilities. I just right click and hit visibility, or you can do it over here, either one. You just got to find that work plane. 
and then right click and turn the visibility off. So here is that part. And uh, what I want you guys to do with it is to put it on um, on your sheet and it's all indicated and you should have the top front and right side views and what I want you to do is just really look at how this thing plays out here would be your front view and you see this right here that's just this is cut all the way through it's just where it's placed you see it's not coming all the way to the center of it so you will have a little bit of that quadrant of the bottom of that uh, cylinder show up on this and depends on where you cut through these at when you turn them to the top view that determines how deep these cuts are so there's a lot involved on this when you turn to the right side you can kind of see everything how it clears up so I want you to put these on a sheet and uh, an IDW sheet and I think all the information was on your blackboard here um, you can use either one of those and put them on title box on A-size paper. Find you a scale that fits and looks good and put you some of your standard dimensions on there. That will help someone be able to make this part. So if you have any questions, please contact me.